So you know what the point is that you have a Dar al Islam, he said it's a house of Islam, and you are in a little barn somewhere in the garden with all the extremists, the anti Islam guys and the extreme Muslims. And so what you have to do is get out of the barn walk into the garden, look at the house, go into the house, and then we talk again. You can ask questions again. And that's what and I ask him, well, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm willing to get out of the barn <laughs> if you give me some information, how, eh? a map. So he gave me some information. I started reading and reading. And in the end, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I thought, OK, Islam, the, the teachings of Islam, I thought, OK, that it, it looks very much like, like Christianity. Yeah? Uh, be, be polite, uh, of course, uh, believing in God, uh, believing in the prophets, etc. But in the end, uh, I, uh, the, 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 the big difference, of course, is, is where, whether the question whether is Muhammad is a prophet or not. So I, I thought, okay, uh, maybe Islam, the teachings of Islam are okay, but Muhammad is still, as I learned, an antichrist, or he is uh, a crook, or uh, all the, the, the bad things you can uh, imagine. Uh, that, that was still the view that I held when it uh, came to uh, to my Prophet Muhammad. What uh, what I did uh, was comparing him not to Jesus, because a lot of people always say you have to compare him with Jesus. But I I found that illogical because Jesus had another mission. If, even when I was still not a Muslim, I thought well it's 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 more fair to compare him to Moses. Because I thought, well, in, in, in the Christian church I was brought up, they, they uh, called Moses the lawgiver. And I thought, well, he, Ma Prophet Muhammad brought a law as well, the Sharia. So I thought, well, we have two guys who say they bring a law. So it's more, it's more fair that I compare those two with each other. And I thought, well, uh, um, one of my objections was um, Muhammad used violence. And then, yeah, I read, of course, Moses used violence as well. And especially the, the guy who followed Moses when Moses died, Joshua is a prophet as well in the, in the Old Testament. Uh, he, was, he used a lot of violence. And when I compared the teachings when it came to um, uh, war uh, between the Bible and the Quran, I found out that, that the, what, what the Quran, for example, says you cannot kill women, children, now all the things you, you probably know. Uh, but in the Bible, there are passages that say the opposite. They say you have to kill women, kill uh, kill them all, and uh, of course, uh, uh, and uh, let, let's be happy that, that that's not what uh, the, the, the most Christian churches teach. But there are passages in the Old Testament that that say that you have to wipe out everything, even the grass. So everything has to uh, yeah be erased. Um, so I thought, okay, uh, when it comes to violence, I can uh, no longer say that Muhammad, because he fought uh, a, a war, and it was a defensive war, uh, that, uh, that he is no prophet if I accept uh, Moses and Joshua, for example. So, okay. And then I went to another point and another one. And all the points that I, uh, my objections against Muhammad, when I compared it to other prophets, I, I had no grounds anymore. So in the end, I thought, well, maybe they are all no prophets. <laughs> or uh, Muhammad is a prophet as well, and uh, that was the, uh, a point for me that I, uh, yeah, I had to look into my heart to see. Who I still believe in God. Well, if you believe in God, why do you believe God? There is a revelation. If I believe in a revelation, that the revelation is brought by someone or someone's. That's not an English word, but by people, and those people we call prophets. So I thought, okay, then, then Muhammad is a prophet, and then I realized, well, if I say Muhammad is a prophet and I believe in God, then there is a problem because <laughs> then, then I would be a Muslim. And that's not still something I didn't, didn't want to be. And uh, this, so I, 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 I talk to a lot of people and um, uh, they say, yeah, well, <laughs> if that's the case, you are a Muslim, <laughs> whether you like it or not, or you must stop, in, stop believing in God or something. But I couldn't. And uh, then I thought, okay, I, I just park it and I don't do anything with it and I, I'll leave it for, for what it is. But yeah, if you are a believing person, uh, whether you're not a Christian or a, a, a Buddhist or a, or a Muslim, you want to do something with the things you believe in, especially when it's, yeah, it's the core or the cornerstone of your life. And it was still so. I, I believed in God and I thought, yeah, I want to abide the laws of God. I want to do something 
that that is good. Uh, so I had to do something with with my newfound uh, information. 